So, Tim, we're about to speak to Ben Bell, who uh, is about, I think, a dozen votes ahead of his nearest rival for the mayor of Gore. He's just 23 years old, which would make him the youngest ever mayor in New Zealand's history. Have you got any advice for him, should he take the job? Well, yes. Um, I'd say watch your back and... <laughs> Um, don't trust everyone. All right, so Tim, we will leave it there. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Um, it's probably some sage political advice too from uh, a man who knows a great deal about it. Let's go now and stay in the Deep South. 23-year-old Ben Bell could be Gore District's new mayor. The race is still too close to call. He's currently just 13 votes ahead of the incumbent Tracy Hicks with the final results being released on Thursday. Ben, good morning. Good morning, Ryan. So there's some advice from <laughs> Sir Tim from a, a wily old politician who says, watch your back. Yeah, trust no one. I mean, it's, it's good advice in any realm, I guess. <laughs> I suppose it is. <laughs> hey, how excited are you about this? Did you expect this? Um, oh, you know, everyone in the community said it was going to be 50-50 and, and they were exactly right, uh, right down the middle. I never expected to be this close. Um, but yeah, really excited for it to go from being down 11 to now being up 13. But we just won't know till Thursday till those special votes are counted. So there's how many special votes to count? It's about 60 odd, is that right? Yeah, 67 left to count. Um, and they're saying we should know on, yeah, Thursday. And so you yeah. need 21 of those 67? Yes. It's, yeah. it's quite possible you could do this, um, Ben. Why do you think the people of Gore have gone with you? Um, Tracy has been in for 18 years. Yeah, so in talking to the community when I when I got round everyone, it was um, it wasn't so much that people disliked Tracy at all. It was just people felt that it was time for a change. Eighteen years is a long time, and I know that twenty seven years is a is a is a lot longer. Um, but people are just looking for something fresh, something new, and um, yeah, it seems like that's me this time round. Hopefully, <laughs> what's your what's your plan? What are your plans, um, Ben? At twenty three years old, for the people of Gore, what would be your big priority? So our plan and our campaign has, has really been nothing exciting. It's just to bring the the district back to basics. Um, so there's been a lot of spending in Gore on on all sorts of very flash projects that that look nice, but probably aren't the best place to spend money. So it's pulling back on those and investing in the right things, like infrastructure, like recycling, and uh, like our rural roads, which are in a bit of a state at the moment. You've got to be the first mural candidate to describe your policies as nothing exciting but maybe the, <laughs> clearly this is exactly what the people of Gore wanted and do you know what it's actually reflected right around the country is people have said to their councils we want you to get back to the basics and to stop focusing on these um, pet projects that sort of aren't relevant to us do you feel that that is a reflection of what's happening where you are too? Absolutely. And I mean, it, it's even a reflection of, of central government to a certain extent as well. Um, it's just, yeah, spending money on what councils are meant to be there for. And that, that sometimes isn't pretty. It isn't the, you know, the nice flash buildings. It's just pipes in the ground, which you don't get to see. Ben, how, uh, 23 years old, what, what do you do for a job at the moment? Uh, so I run my own company um, called Random42 um, as a software developer. Okay, and what do your parents think of the fact that you might be their mayor? Uh, they're incredibly proud, yeah, yeah, incredibly supportive and, and proud and, yeah, like a normal set of parents would be, I guess. <laughs> Have they asked, Ben, what you might do to their rapes? <laughs> uh, no, no, I don't think so, but I, I've been, been asked around the community what, they, what I'll do with their rates and, uh, yeah, hopefully not increase them. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you're about to bring them down if you get rid of some of these um, big projects you've been talking about, Ben. That's the dream, absolutely, yeah. Any ambitions to run for central government at some point? Uh, well, let's see. Yeah, I won't get ahead of myself. Let's, let's see what, um, yeah, what Thursday brings and then what the next three years bring potentially and, um, yeah, go from there. No, uh, yeah, no telling just yet. <laughs> hey, I do have to ask, you don't still live with your parents, do you? 
Because you'd be the first? No, no. no. <laughs> Don't live with my parents. No, I have my own, own house here in Gore. So. Oh, good on you. You'd be the first mayor that did so, I would think. Um, ben, <laughs> thank, thank you very, very much for your time this morning. And best of luck with the election. As you said, the results, final results on Thursday. Um, so we might check in with you again uh, should you succeed. That's Ben Bell, Gore Mayor Hopeful and outgoing Invercargill Mayor Tim Shadbolt with us this morning.